Hello, one and all, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Off the Dome. I'm your humble interviewer, Jordan Brown, and with me for the very first time is our Divine DM. Say hi, Divine DM. Hi, Divine DM. Oh, uh, Bria <laughs> Iyengar. Oh my goodness. Thank Jordan you for joining me. Brown. I'm um, here because we have a TikTok blood feud. Yes. Yeah. Because I didn't make a good enough response video to Polly the Bear, which is Rude. fair. Uh, Rude. Uh, yeah. Violence. I. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I was at a street fair with my family and like I don't have TikTok notifications turned on because that would be a nightmare. Oh and my gosh, all of 100%. a sudden Yeah. All of a sudden my Discord though is just like Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. I'm like, what is happening? Like I'm buying like I don't I think we were getting horchata. I don't remember what was happening. Like <laughs> yes. and, I, and, I, and then like Abria, Abria. And I was like, wait, what is going on? And I like get on I'm like, oh, her first video in eight months is yelling at me. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, <laughs> I have a like a pathological fear of making TikToks, but I consume them, uh, I just so much. So it was great because I was like in uh, New York City for New York Comic Con, so I was just like chilling in my hotel room, like, what if I come out of retirement to torment this lovely human being <laughs> that I don't know well enough to come out with the energy uh, that you accepted oh. so graciously. <laughs> oh, no, 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 100%. Much like I think many of the people in our circles, my love language is absolutely being razzed. So like, yeah. loved it. Um, Yells um, of affirmation. That's my... Yes. <laughs> oh, How man. are you? How are you doing? I'm delightfully, wonderfully happy Yay. to speak with you after a truly... I actually have a serious bone to pick with you. Oh, sure. Because like... I had my top three Dimension 20 seasons fucking locked. It was Nailed. Starstruck Star Odyssey. Yep. Starstruck Odyssey. Uh, yep. Sophomore year, A Crown yes. of Candy. One, two, yes. three, easy. And now you've Gorgeous. fucked everything up with Burrow's End. How Good. dare you? Like, Good. Like, <laughs> the audacity to come in and be that good. Um, Look, it's an honor I... just to be nominated in an Intrepid Hero <laughs> season list. We love it. We love just knocking on that door. <laughs> it's wild. Um, uh, I well, thank you. Uh, and also, it's I just, love your shirt. I just saw I, it now because I can't yes. read. Yeah. Oh. Well, to be fair, I've worn it so much it has basically disintegrated the front off. Like it mine is, too. Like, it is gone. Um, mine too. I'm just like, oh god. It's kind of just yeah. sort of oat house, and I seem very uh, anti big milk when I walk <laughs> yeah. around. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, you cannot. I don't. I don't even remember what it said underneath. It may have been eat trash, be trash. I don't Who remember. It's long since disappeared. Who um, could say? <laughs> um, I so I do. I have so many questions for you. Sure. I'm gonna start with the silliest one. Yes. First guest GM of Critical Role. First yeah. guest GM of Dimension Twenty. Yeah. First guest GM of the Adventure Zone, because we don't count Brennan's live show bullshit. Nope. How pissed are you that Jasper beat you to the first guest GM on NatPod? <laughs> I am furious. And if that man was not my legitimate biological blood brother, I would have snapped his neck and <laughs> taken his power the last time he was, like, outstaying with me. But, like... Truly, as someone who's also a fan of NADPOD, and uh, as much as I loved, like, everything that we call the Summer of Abrea, dog, I was tired by the end of it. <laughs> so it felt very good to see that, like, other people were jumping in on the game and playing in it, too. And Jasper's just such a brilliant DM. And then ah. came and crushed it. So it was so nice. But, like, am I mad? Yes. <laughs> because I've been, I was gunning for all of the M name GMs, and he broke my combo. So gotcha. that's yeah. terrible, but I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. <laughs> uh, I, I do have like your so your video like fundamentally changed everything that was happening with me because like I was I had reached out to Rick Perry to be like, hey, you want to do an interview? And then you made the TikTok, and I was like, I'm gonna ask everyone because Abria yeah. said she would. So like. Uh, I hopped into Jasper's Twitch stream and I was yes. like, hey, Rashawn and Abria have said yes. Uh, do you <laughs> want to do an interview? And he was, and he in like 
classic Jasper fashion Love was it. like, well, if you have Sh- uh, uh, Rashawn and Abreer, uh, my favorite thing, um, uh, <laughs> uh, why would you need me? And it's like, okay, Jasper, like, obviously, <laughs> like, like you're not like an elite member of like the TTRPG community. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> but very clever of you to leverage the other black people against him. Like, I mean, we're all doing it. It's peer pressure <laughs> at this point. Yeah. And maybe you're racist if you don't go and yeah, do I, an hey, None of the white cast has joined me. I'm just saying. Um, and that tells you something what <laughs> i couldn't tell you but it does tell you something <laughs> absolutely incredible um, i love the, sh- the weird shots i'm firing from over here <laughs> and i won't stop i will yeah, not stop <laughs> wonderful i'm i'm just i'm happy uh uh happy to have weird shots fired i haven't <laughs> had the weirdest energy ever in an interview um, Dog, look i'm so tired of like a normal interviewer like hi i'm here to say very little because it's the middle of the season and i cannot explain myself Am we I... are now at the end like yes. all of my juice is loose it's just so nice that everything's out there and i'm so excited to like talk about it and just be oh. weird about it so thank yes. you for this energy and i'm sorry i am so happy all right applebee's soul cycle yes um <laughs> ah. Do you feel that you got yours back in Jasper saying, oh, it's okay, when it looked like you did the Matt Mercer full blue screen of just like, wait, what's happening? Honestly, truly. But also, that debt was back for Matt renaming one of my uh, things in EXU Prime, the Ash Hole. So like, (laughs) I got you. I'll wait. My vengeance is like what is it the like the gears uh, the mills of god grind slow but incredibly fine i will bide my time and then when you least expect it be the mm. dumbest person at your just, table yeah. mm. uh-huh. just, you got him right right between the ribs got like, him. it's a yeah got him uh but with jaspers it's so funny going back and watching that too i was like oh i just look like a full deer in the headlights <laughs> he just hit this exact tone that felt so natural. And if I being like, look, we could talk about how funny it was because I, he absolutely rocked my shit. It was so funny. <laughs> but he also used the tone that players often use when they're saying something like personal. So that's like a tone I'm scanning for as a GM all the time, like safety tools wise. So not that he had said anything that would have alerted me, but he used a tone. So my brain immediately snapped to like, run it back what's going on and then it ended up being nothing and you just see like all of the scaffolding of my mind in that morning like moment just shatter apart it was great that was an incredible moment oh i owe him for that and i will get mine back because now he's running uh rotating heroes so at some point i will con my way on uh and then and then give it back i feel like it's a you don't have to con your way on to anything at this point. Um, I feel like you can just be like, hey, I'll join. And everyone will be like, yes, please. We would like an increase in viewership. Um, like I, hey, thanks. I have, a, I have a little Patreon thing where I'm like, hey, I'm going to ask uh, Bria and everybody, like, you know, like, do you have any questions you would like me to ask? Um, I also I have tier. This is so stupid, but we're doing wild energy. Yeah, I have a $200 tier where <gasps> they can, not only will they ask, I will ask their question. I will tell them your, like, the name of the person. Oh. No, no one has signed up for it, of course. Cowards. Because it's the stupidest thing. Cowards. Um, if you but, want to ask like, me a name, I will remember your name. You will see yeah. me at a con and it'll be like, you're the one that asked me what my sh- what my shoes smell like. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have a follow-up. We're going to have a follow-up uh, right now. You and me yeah. in the middle of this convention. <laughs> cowards. Um, Do it, Cowards. Yeah. I, like by far the most questions I've gotten was when I was like, Abria's coming and um, more than one, how dare you? Um, which I think is very fun. My, and I was like, I already asked her that thing. in her AMA. I was the one who said, how dare you? Um, I like, love seeing your name now in things. Cause like I caught in the AMA, which was super fun, but because like the, like the way we were sort of like filtering questions in and I'm like, I I'm clearly not as fast a typer as uh Shawbox, So he was like answering with like, beautiful Schaefer essay, like MLA cited. And I was like, uh, I don't know. Bear seems cool in the equivalent <laughs> amount of typing time. So it was stressful for a different reason. It was so cool seeing your name. And then even uh, the IG takeover two days ago, I was like, oh, hey, boy, hey. Yeah. I like yeah. seeing you pop I, up. Look, I'm, I'm on the, I'm a, like you, I'm very online. Um, I gotta like... be less online. You keep doing it. I gotta go. Well, you know, part of that solved for me. I'm still banned from Twitter a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
But now you're on Tumblr and you see everything. Uh, Oh, uh, I've been on Tumblr. I'm just noisy about it now. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I see everything. And y'all are nasty and keep it up. Keep it up. Rashawn felt the same way. She was like, I've seen I've seen what they put. Um, I've seen some things. (laughs) It was the discovery of real person fan fiction earlier this year that was like, oh, no, I'm too online. Yeah, I'm going to go do Duolingo now. (laughs) Shout out to my 40 day streak. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> how's brennan's streak going oh my god it's like a bill oh god he might be even from panama huh? uh, even from okay. so that's crazy because he is lost in the jungle and i right. thought this is gonna be my opportunity to catch him he has not dropped it yet i don't know if this dude is stacking a godly amount of streak freezes or if he uh in defiance of what he told us from a telegram we were sent a month ago <laughs> He has internet access and he simply doesn't want to be on our talk back. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is. We'll figure it out. We're still looking also, for him. Also a coward. Also a coward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he's a ca- he's a he's a jungle coward. It's a different flavor. <laughs> it's tangy. <laughs> um uh, speaking of worlds beyond number, yeah. holy shit. What a triumph so- that thing is. Uh oh, just thank you. Um, I, uh, uh, next bone to pick with you, you yes. are, I think, so like, uh, this, this house believes in expert supremacy of like, she is the greatest Respect. player of all time. You, however, I have never had someone like snap my neck with emotions faster than you can. Um, like everything is just like Thank going you. fine. And then Suvi, or do, do we call her Sky now? Or do, are we allowed <laughs> to call her Suvi in the real world? We all heard her, her, enough of her name. We can say Suvi. Okay, We've listened. great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But like Suvi, all of a sudden, she's like my father, and I'm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like how do you nowhere. justify a butthole? You gotta get some <laughs> trauma in there. It's like a little Twinkie. <laughs> oh. But yes, I, I love playing Suvi so much. It's so cool, and it's been really fun to play like a difficult character, like her her wants and her needs and her desires and her priorities aren't. They're not, they're not like cross purposes with the group because we are a group of like capital T, capital F, true friends. But knowing sort of where everyone else is coming from emotionally and how they feel about the world, being someone that's from the parts of the world that one would seek to change across a campaign uh, has been a really fun challenge. And it's been very fun to be uh, just an absolute little nightmare. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> like, like I'm a big Suvi defender. You make it hard sometimes. Yeah, uh, like, thank <laughs> you. Can't be easy. Look, no. if I have to sit there and stress and sweat the whole time and like keep checking in with the group, like we're still good. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> good luck. I'm about to make it worse. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. If like, I have to feel that, you have to feel it. Brennan being like, uh, God, what was it? Like the, we're going to war to defend our liberty against foreign invaders. And I was like, uh-oh, I think the Citadel <laughs> might be bad. Um, like, Here's the thing and me jumping on. Like, this is just me doing the, like, first Stoats defense all over again. We have not seen the nature of, we, we uh, like, the Empire relative to other uh powers and factions within the world of Umora. I'm not saying they're not imperialist (laughs) colonizers, but we have not technically seen that yet. So I think there is that little bit of like uh, us as fans and even us as players, like overlaying a lot of like our modern historical context onto what this is. But like you got, if nothing else, trust Brennan to build a beautiful, Uh internally consistent, complex and vibrant world so yeah a little bit of that is like wait and see just the depth and breadth of uh the empire's wrongs but also like we said empire for a reason yeah <laughs> but yeah. i'm sure it's fine and silver's fine yeah i'm sure those ninth level spell living monstrosities they're fine it's fine those freaking tamori i was screaming about them when we like took a little bio break in the middle of that episode and i was like what are they i want to go back and yell at them i know i need to go back and like see what's going on with the group but like what what god have you have you listened to this to it this week like the taylor's voice inflection of those things what absolutely terrifying like unreal um, so good yeah god 
they're so <laughs> they're so creepy. Like it yeah. was already like stressful in the moment, but then going back and hearing like the final cut. Every time you hear like Taylor's like polish that stink he puts on in the end, like I'm normally quite good at going back and watching cuts and being like, okay, I'm just gonna watch this for like notes or uh like just whatever you sort of watch it with that third person thing because i also struggle with like staring at myself or listening to myself for long stretches of time but taylor's so good at what he does uh i immediately become re-immersed in it and uh out loud said the same thing as suvi uh when the tamori was like little smooch and i was like <laughs> i like immediately got in my feelings again and was like that's something to say i will counterspell you motherfucker what what <laughs> Now, do I only have level two spells? Because I'm yeah. level two? Yeah. Um, But I will. I'll try. Yeah. It's so I'll roll funny. for that. Uh, yeah, I'll roll yeah. for it. That's nothing? Brennan? Brennan says that's nothing? Yeah. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> oh, um, uh, I, I am actually really curious about the Citadel. How much you and Brennan talked beforehand? Because so I, I'm playing an artificer in a home <gasps> game that I don't get to play it enough. And, oh, no. Um, but like it, 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 he attends the Lynn Academy of the Arcane and like it was before Worlds Beyond Number came out that like it started and I when Brennan read like did his first description of like the Citadel and everything I clipped it and sent it to my DM and I was like this is it this yes! is the thing like I could, this is everything that I have imagined like could possibly be for like a oh, wizard nice. artificer magic technology society incredible like how much did you know going in that it was going to be like that? Was that I, I know Brendan said he doesn't have notes, which is fucking wild. His to brain me. is so good. I want to crack it open and eat it. Like if I could, yeah. if, if I could have Siler's power from Heroes, <laughs> he's target number one. Yeah, uh, yeah. So like very early, like we had camps as we were spinning up what everything was going to be, and in the same way that like. Brendan and Lou had long, interesting conversations about what the spirit world was going to be like and uh, what Lou would be building as a son of the great spirit sort of way shadowed into this world. And Erica got a full custom class as a witch and like, what do witches mean inside the world of Lumora? Uh, we had conversations uh, quite a few about like, what does it feel like to be a wizard? What is it like? What is it? How does this work? I don't, obviously I don't have details for everything. And there are plenty of times you can hear uh, me be just as delighted by like a drop of lore uh, as everyone else listening and everyone else at the table. But the broad strokes, I definitely knew a lot about. So uh, just hearing the bright work and the way in which like hours of uh, fun, like hushed, huddled conversation turn into Gosh, just everything with the way the courts move in this like helix and the way, God, it's just so good. And yeah. I mean, even the things that like we came up with in the moment, the S names for Citadel Wizards was just from our first 15 minutes of play where I, uh, I guess I made a weird alliterative swing and we were like, cool, that's a whole thing oh, about the yeah. world now. And Exclusively, we, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's so cool. It's so cool. His brain's so good. Uh, is wild. I, um, <laughs> I, I said so this Discord. Literally, my Discord is uh, NADPOD, uh, Dimension Twenty. Well, Dropout in general and Worlds Beyond Number. Like yeah. those are the three topics. Um, <laughs> and because uh, I just I can't stay current on anything else, so I'm just like, look, yeah. I can't. I have to uh, if I'm managing it. I have to read all the posts to make sure people aren't going wild. So like, yeah, hundred uh, percent. So like, um, so Worlds Beyond Number when it the the two weeks ago no um when ame wakes up episode <gasps> yes um, oh god like so many messages of like hey don't listen to this episode if you're hungry um which was like the first oh time god. where it was like like it, you know normally it's like yeah. hey don't listen to this episode if you're emotionally not yes. ready for devastation yeah. and this was just like like that <laughs> my god the it's perfection of that so good we were starving like that yeah. was one of those episodes where we finished at the end we're like I will eat the walls. <laughs> Why did we do this before lunch? My God. Also, that was incredible. And I lay that a lot at the feet of Lou and, and the way like we were flagged with the sort of like, <clears throat> we know we have to get this big cool download from Ame. Like obviously we were in the room just being very quiet for, for that. But uh, our sort of homework was like, yeah, what part of the Citadel do you lean into? And I think Lou had this like really interesting very difficult position, not difficult for most people, but never for Lou, because he's just the 
best improv mind. Like, my God, uh, it it makes me nervous. Like, it's so good. And in like knowing that Suvi would be like, yeah, she's going to fall back into her pattern and not actually be between the two of us, the better uh, sort of tour guide for the Citadel. Having Lou really step up and go like, I think he leans into the like the food of it all. And God, it's just everything was so descriptive and so beautiful uh, and so quirky and so cool. And I want that big clamshell. So oh I think God. about it so much. Yeah. Uh, it's my white Everything. whale. Yeah. God. Everything was so good. Like, yeah. So I, good. I was, I was so <laughs> grateful for like the Discord to be like, make sure you – and I had like a snack prepared. and was like yes. – Because I was listening to it, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is – like, Truly. The Ghibli, like the Studio Ghibli food of it all was just, yes. oh, it was on. So oh. crazy. <laughs> Perfection. Uh, my, I, 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 did, I, I, I could, I could talk to you forever about World yeah. Family. I think it is truly so incredible. My, oh, thank uh, you. Uh, well, we're talking about Lou. Yeah. How joyous in the moment is it when Lou is laughing so hard it sounds like he's going to die? <laughs> <laughs> there are only, like, when I think of some of my favorite sounds, I think lose sort of on mid, like that full throated, like big throw your body back laugh is one of my favorite things. And like, there's a couple times like where I've gotten it and been like, I can feel like goosebumps. Like, Oh, that's its own rush and its own high. Like, I think there's always something there of like, I want to make my friends laugh and I want to surprise them. And I think that drives a lot of like my storytelling uh, across the board but like the ability to make lou wilson laugh like if you can do that that's it that's everything yeah, yeah. it's so good and it makes me just want to like scream and yeah. run around the room like i've seen magic because <laughs> you have it is magic yeah uh, he is magical i a county affair episode two i genuinely <laughs> thought lou might die he was <laughs> laughing so hard and i was like this is the best thing i've ever listened to like yeah it's erica came out the gate with oh such a fun God. concept yes. and then just enough structure and Brennan, I love him so much when he goes full like gremlin on a, yep. on a like system, just him obliterating. Uh, he pulled the Glock, he pulled the gun yeah. out of his cloaca. Like it just got so crazy so quickly. Oh God, that was such a dream. Uh, we yeah, keep the, bullying the... Erica and meetings to run more stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Tell yeah. yeah, tell them the the people demand it. Like yes. it's um like yeah, the uh Brennan's uh in the talk back was like, you tell me I've only got a character for four hours, it's gonna get weird. Uh, it's one of like my favorites. Like, like those so talkbacks like, are so cursed. Like going back and listening to them like in a sober, normal, like cool. I'm just listening to it, uh, because we're releasing it the next day. This is a work <laughs> edit, and just being like oh my God, the dopamine of us all being in one room and trying to speak like academically about the most unhinged four hours we've ever had. Like it's, oh God. Yeah. It, yeah. It was so good. It's, it's big, <laughs> uh, uh, dementia 20 adventuring party zoom energy of Bro, like, when, like the zoom adventuring parties are like my, I honestly put those on sometimes when I'm like, I got, I have to get work done and I just need like white noise in the background. Mm -hmm. God, they're, that group, I love them so much. They're crazy people. Yeah. They're crazy. They should be put somewhere in a little yes. room. <laughs> I love. Oh, them. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I, I recently started following someone on TikTok who's like just basically putting up edits of the like Zoom adventuring parties. Ooh, <laughs> and like, yes. Not even edits, just clips of it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm there's nothing to edit all day, every day. Yeah, like no these context. are perfection. Like, just let yeah. it happen. Oh my god! Oh, Amazing. Man. Big point. Only child. <laughs> yeah. Are you? I feel like there are one of two types mm. of only children. Mm -hmm. When you tell someone you're an only child, is their response, oh, "I would have never guessed," or is their response, "Yeah," because um, <laughs> I'm very much the latter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh, how about you? <laughs> yes. It's really funny. It depends on the group. I feel like anyone that's seen or like worked with me in this space uh, is very kind and is like, oh, I had no idea. Cause there's a lot of like, I play, like when you're a GM, you're playing a lot of people's like 
sundry uh like tangents out and pe like pieces out out in the world so i play siblings quite often and i always get really nervous i'm like this is just me doing my best to to divine a relationship i know nothing about and those people are normally very kind and they're like oh i would have no idea uh, i was just at dinner with amy uh the other day and she was like oh my god you played my you played my sister so well i was like thanks uh and then everyone else that i know in the world is just like yeah 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 you're yeah like, yeah, I, I got some big Lucas energy. Like, <laughs> my mom's my best friend. <laughs> and I'm a really good eater. And I go to sleep mm -hmm. right when I go, when I get, that's not true. I wish that was true. But yeah. yeah. Oh, God. The dream. Uh, the dream. I felt that, like, like I, I'm very, I was very congested this morning. And I was like, the <gasps> perfect day to talk to Bria. I yes. need some bant. Bant. Um, <laughs> that's so okay. Fully. Your favorite my, NPC? My favorite NPC and my yes. real life, because I'm allergic to cats. Uh, and my husband, like when I when I met my uh, husband Ryan, uh, he had two at the time. So like the first two years of our relationship before I figured out exactly how much Zyrtec I need to take to like go live my life, uh, I would just wake up every morning and be like, "Good morning, um, <laughs> is this what you wanted? This is very attractive. We can't mess around until my nose is clear because I might suffocate. Anyway, I'm gonna go make some bit tea." <laughs> Oh God, I love Lucas so much. I um, love Lucas so but, much. I'm an eloquence bard. Um, <laughs> Why? I have no idea. Did he do anything in the final fight? No, he did not. He truly he did not. Uh, <laughs> he died. He was just a little yeah. guy, and he died. We didn't even build a mini for him because he was a, like you know half of your NPCs are just people that you pull from moments that are called by your players, uh, and the only like spare mini I had that I could have grabbed without getting up to grab like the 400,000 stoats <clears throat> the art department built for me uh, was the little birthday one that was on my cupcake uh, <laughs> when I came in on the first day of filming Aww. and I like wept over it and was like, cool, he's going to like, I just used a little blue tack. I keep blue tack everywhere. Shout out to Brennan who learned it from Matt uh, or other ways. However, that happened. Matt I think learned it, was, it from Brennan. Learned Matt it from Matt learned Rick. It from Brennan from Rick. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I have blue tack everywhere. So he was just like wanged onto the back of the uh, the DM screen, and I was just like, I guess this is Lucas now, and it's his birthday, worst birthday ever. Oh, he <laughs> came out okay eventually. That's um, fine. Uh, He's traumatized. <laughs> he remembers death. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, on only children. Yes. Laren, Antiope, yes. Suvi. What's it like making, so someone was like, she seems to really lean into like, I have to be better than everyone else or people will die. And I was like, so you want me to ask her what it's like being an only child? Is that what mm -hmm. you like? Mm -hmm. um, like that feels feels very core to your character <laughs> creation. Like even when they've got siblings, it's I have to be the best. I mean, yes, a lot of that is only child uh, baggage. Uh, my parents are also Marines. So there was a lot of like, oh, there's a, a level of like stricture around my upbringing. And I think sports instills a lot of that, like work harder. Like there's there's tracks to success and you have to follow that. But it does also fall really hard into the, like being a black queer woman in this space specifically, where you're like, if you're told, like if you were sort of raised understanding you have to work twice as hard. They will give you half as much credit. Uh, at the first sign of a reason to be dismissed, they will dismiss you. Uh, a lot of that like gets baked into the high achieving characters I play that are just constantly under that pressure. And it even comes down to like Miss Mag, like the whole idea of the pilot program sits in that, like here's a group that's called up, not given necessarily all the tools they need to succeed, but the fate of people like beyond them will sort of rest on their shoulders. So get it right because no one gets to follow it in your footsteps if you screw it up. Uh, and that is an anxiety I live oh. in constantly <laughs> and will, I guess, continue playing in games <laughs> until I go to enough therapy about it. <laughs> I mean, it makes for great characters, at least. Hey. Uh, and, I mean, Miss Mag, another phenomenal season. Oh, uh, thank uh, you. Yeah, I love, like, if Miss Mag was more than four episodes, it would probably be, like, higher. But, like, I just, you don't get enough time with those characters to be, like, this is the core of my being. I love it. And I, I think we all secretly hope that there is, a, like, 
holiday special that's going to drop in two weeks that no one has told us about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I could keep that secret if there was no. more Miss Mag? I'm too online. I'm the little Tom Holland of every project I've ever been in. There are just social media managers tackling me out of framing like, Abria, please go take a lap. You have to shut up. You're about to give the whole game away. But uh, I love Miss Mac, the pilot program, oh. like that table, obviously uh, incredible. We did yep. make a podcast about it and I love Daniel Radford and like continue to work for her and like, or work with her and like cheer her on and all of her. Like she was great in Mentopolis. Mentopolis fucking stomped. So uh, but God, if I could get another, another crack at Miss Mac, I would take it in a heartbeat because yeah, like we did the best uh, I did the best I could with the ability set I had at the time. I do think I'm a, a much better game runner now um, in that like small box of, okay, here's what you can do in four plus a holiday special, but Ooh, Ooh, it would be so cool to come back. Uh, anyway, just post that clip and then I'll just yeah. forward it to Sam and Kearns and just be like, yeah. look, she's like, she went off into the middle distance in the middle of an interview. <laughs> Give her more episodes. <laughs> Uh, every so both with Rashawn and Jasper at I think it was both Rashawn and Jasper I don't know at some point I like yelled directly to Carlos on camera to be like put him back yes. in the dome um, yeah. so like Carlos more Miss Mag um, unfortunately like, Carlos is dead I killed him uh, oh, in the right. season yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah, my new um, favorite bit by the way I was like <laughs> oh this was so fun and he absolutely crushed his Dr. Wenderbacher and I was oh like oh God. now I like when I come back to the dome I'm gonna find a way to like kill off Carlos sort of subtly <laughs> there will always Perfect. be an insert yeah. that will um, always murder him <laughs> i uh so th 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 a bunch of things about those tapes my favorite <laughs> thing was i started getting the episodes early this season yeah um, and so like i had seen the episode and like i saw first first of all uh the car the like dr winnebacher was that just the outfit carlos was wearing that day they took a picture of him and traced it because that's <laughs> he just, just his, walks like, around in a lab coat and i yeah. honestly i find it quite pretentious yes I'm like that sir makes sense. this yeah. is a new media company you can just wear a sweater like the rest of us and he was like no i'm built different yeah. And I respect he has that. Very good, he has very good fits. Um, he uh, does. He, oh my God. Yeah. I love, I look, I love simping for my friends in general. Like why not be your friend's biggest fan? Like that's great. But like I send Carlos side texts when he posts good IGs and I'm like, Hey boy, Hey, do not take this the wrong way. I'm so booed up and so monogamous, but like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> He's crashing it. I aspire yeah. to have like that strong and aesthetic. He's, he's the best. Um, he's the best. But oh, getting, yeah, the, getting the episode, no, 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 no. Yeah. This is the energy we want. Um, uh, this, uh, so I had, I had, I had watched the episode already. And uh, so I knew, like I rec I heard Carlos's voice and I was like, delightful, it's Carlos. Yeah. And like, the, I was like, I'm like 90% sure. And then like the art came up and I was like, 100% sure now. Yeah. Um, and, um, and then you posted that there was a cameo in the episode. <laughs> And <laughs> telling people who it would be would be cheesy. And I got the reference, but nobody else did. No. It was cool. And oh, yes. Continue, continue. Yes. So my favorite thing, because this is like a whole other thing I want to talk about, the conspiracy theory, like murder board of <laughs> Burroughs End. Um, my favorite thing was people were fully convinced Zach Oyama, because Colin Provolone, <laughs> was going to come join the table as Jeffrey, who was secretly alive in The Last Bast. It was so wild to watch what? and know the truth, right? That's unhinged. I love the energy. <laughs> Could you imagine? It was like, okay, I'm going to say, come on, Provolone, but one syllable at a time in every episode leading up to it. And then Zach will come in and be like, I have no context. Let's play this. I'm Brennan's husband. Let's go. Like, I love it. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> oh, man. How... <laughs> And my it favorite was... were people, especially the ones in the Discord, like in the dropout Discord, being like, Dr. Wedebacher, such a hottie. Like, look at that art. And I was like, that's Carlos. He's yeah. here. Yeah. He's going to see that. Yeah. He knows what you think. And let me be clear. If you didn't see it, I did screenshot it and send it to him. <laughs> 
Oh, I have incredible. my phone is littered with Wenabacher thirst that I forwarded to Carlos <laughs> just to be like, just feel a little weirder. Tumblr has opinions. <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, what were some of your favorite murder board conspiracies that you saw of uh, Burroughs? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think some of my favorites were always centered around whatever happened to Jeffrey and if he was still alive. Like, we said really conclusively at the top, like, Jeffrey's dead. This is where we're beginning from. And everyone's like, he's alive. You see, he was wearing a little <laughs> belt. That means he knows about sashes. He is from Last Pass. They were there together. Tula knows. But when he died and she was not remembering the secret, but she secretly is from here, like, no. No, sometimes you just let the artist... Add a little piece of grass just for <laughs> visual interest. We were trying to land a like Indiana Jones vibe. So we just wanted a little, it was just a little grass. I'm so sorry. And you never want to like take that away from anyone where you're like, I love that you're talking about it, but I am just screaming behind my monitor being like, I'm so sorry, you guys. He is so dead. He was shot with a gun. <laughs> that's the thunder. It's just, that's just what it is. Um, Early on, I loved people trying to guess, like, what the, like, smoke was that killed the Red Warren up top. Got so many cool uh, guesses about, like, yeah, it's, like, weird gassing. Like, they're coming in to gas the stoats to take them back to the facility to test on them. And I was like, how do I just drop a link to the article that came out like three weeks ago about a truck driving back towards Chernobyl and it kicked up a bunch of dust in the asphalt that made the soldiers sick because it just had radiation in it. It's such an innocuous like answer, but everyone like coming up with bigger, cooler things, you're like, I don't want to tell you that the real answer is a big old stinker, but go off. That's a long, that's a long post. Oh, you've cited sources. Oh my God. <laughs> It's so good. Oh, man. It was so fun. It was so fun to watch. So Just fun. unhinged Ooh. conspiracies. I have one more. I, I also loved the idea that the first stoats were actually weasels trying to pass themselves off as stoats because of the way I described their teeth. Yeah. And I was like, oh. No, it was just sort of an evolution thing, but okay. Oh yeah, and because there was like a hu there were human remains and wolf remains in the pool, everyone's like, and then you dunk yourself in that pool of blue Gatorade, and then you get wolf and people powers, and you're like, okay, that's psych. I like it. I like it. That's not what this is, but I like it. But I'll never say what it was because if the if the table didn't find out, uh. Some of our little bits of lore, we're just going to leave it in case we go to Mars yeah. for Stotal and Recall. For, for Stotal Recall, Wilmer <laughs> gets a Kwatu and just says his full revenge. Perfect. Yep. Um, uh, I love it. <laughs> Could you imagine? Uh, yeah. I, yeah, that, oh my God, what a triumph this season was. Not just the storytelling, you. but my God, the production. Um, uh, like Everyone crushed it. Like... I mean, yeah, I've I've worked with uh, with Dimension Twenty and Dropout for a couple of years now, and there was just something about this season where it was like, cool. Uh, I've pulled punches with like not doing battle maps and things like that before, and it was th there was something so fun about the like, all right, you want a battle map? Let's go. Here's my very first idea that I like, walked into rooms with first with Carlos and then with Rick, uh, and both of them were just like. I'm sorry, what? And you want that to be the first map? Like, yes, <laughs> this is where we're starting from. Let's work as a group to like make sure all of these like land and we're heightening because it was just everyone's so good at their job. And there's, and when you have that much support, like, how can you do anything but your like level best to match the level of like artistry and like love and care and time that everyone's putting in? So, I'm so proud of how it turned out. And it was so cool along the way. It was incredible. Um, are you sad that no one went through Polly the Bear's butthole, which was an entryway that was possible to be used? I was so convinced that Jason was going to go through the butthole. So convinced. To the point where I was like, that's so funny. 
uh, we were talking about like which way to like center the map. And I was like, obviously I want Bear out because I've got Rashawn and Jasper uh, in my direct eye lens at the end. And I'm like, hey, first time in the dome, stare at this ridiculous bear face uh, two episodes deep. But I was like, oh, I was so worried. I was like, unless people see the ball, will they think to use it? Maybe Jason. Maybe Jason will be my boy. Uh, and no one did it. And that's very sad, but it's very funny. Yeah. I love how much stuff was built into that Bairdal map. So yes. good. Uh, so good. I've talked for literal hours with people about yeah. the Bairdal. <laughs> like, it's delightful. I love uh, how grossed out everyone got. I yeah. It was really funny. The one thing I do regret, like, uh, as far as content warnings, like, there should have been one that was like, maybe this isn't. Maybe this isn't a dinner episode. Like maybe don't eat. If you were if you're making this spaghetti, is, don't. Yeah. This is the anti worlds beyond number. Like, yeah. Is, uh, Do not curl up with a little yeah. bowl of nudes. It's gonna yeah. feel bad. <laughs> yeah. I I was in New York um watching that episode. I was traveling and like I like I saw Gutenberg because of you. And I oh, loved wonderful. it. It's yeah. so good, right? It's so good. Like, Oh, delightful. Yeah. Um, uh, Sorry. Continue. <laughs> no, yeah. I, that, that makes me so happy. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I, I literally paused the episode, DM Rick Perry for the very first time. Hey, <laughs> you want to talk to me about this? Um, <laughs> Incredible. Like, he like has like, he had like a vague awareness because I was a, I'm a, a, am a big advocate of Plan C, the abortion pills documentary that his wife edited. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super, super phenomenal. Um, yeah. And so like, I made this whole pitch because there was a, like a Kickstarter for it. And if you backed it at a certain level, you got your name in the credits. Um, nice. And uh, so like, he also, he has a special thanks. And I was like, Hey, it's like, I made a TikTok where I was like, if you do this, like you're technically coworkers with dimension twenties, Rick Perry. Like, there you go. Like makes sense to me. Count it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so he was like a vaguely aware that I existed, uh, but you'll literally just be like, Hey, you want to talk about this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about this to me or your therapist? Let's have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, it was so cool. This was a very crunched uh, shoot cycle. I'm sure other people have talked about it, but yeah, uh, four days of, of, of hell, basically. It yeah. was wild. <laughs> I would not advocate for anyone else to do it, but I'm glad uh, with how it turned out. But in the midst of all of that, like, craziness i do just have this like very specific and lovely memory of when everything slowed down a little bit when rick was like come check out like where everything's sitting as we're coming into the actual filming and i remember seeing the bear map and it was already done like i had seen a bunch of like uh progress uh photos and things in meetings but like seeing the bear map for the first time and then getting that first look at phoebe and what the final map was gonna be uh and then the slide puzzle like uh, we were like yeah. practicing like the flow on the slide puzzle and like I was able to pick up one of the little mini like practice ones and I just remember having this like be like everything got quiet and got calm and yeah it, it's it's a shoot like it's it's making tv and you feel like you're at the center of a hurricane uh in that moment where you're like everything else is running around and everyone's trying to get here but like how can you not have a moment of perspective and like gratitude and just joy for the things that like were built for this that was so cool and they're just so talented and it's running uh, around screaming and they're like we're still yeah. working on other stuff you have to be quiet and i'm like okay <laughs> sure uh can i get we're a little more like blood on those junior chipmunks? year right now like calm down like let's uh, <laughs> truly let me be very clear they were working on junior year stuff while we were in there too and i got some I like i got jasper to, like, told in. me he's seen all the maps yeah like yeah he's, getting uh, to peek like, in was very fun i was like yeah. Okay. It's so uh, good. Uh, one of my favorite things I got from another interview, Kelsey Hunter, who was responsible for the beating yeah. heart. Oh, um, uh, she said that when she was watching the episode and like it like opened, she saw Brennan's face and Brennan was like, oh, this is what we're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and she was like, you never asked Brennan. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> Let me be super clear. You don't cut to me. Like it's not cut to me in that moment. Cause we took it out of the early edit. Cause I have the, biggest shitty eating grin on my face like mm -hmm. yeah but sounds like you should ask more questions anyway here's where the bar is now they all fucking slap and they like me more for the next <laughs> week <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it, i i do love the like the very fun sort of arm arms race there of like 
what can you do? And yeah. I, I got my couple of no's that I get every season. But uh, if I get to come back, I will ask them again, like, all right, no full animation. And I can't cut a hole in the table. Yet. <laughs> yes. Got it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I love I, I think I think you 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 got a part of our blood feud is I said that you had not won the arms race, um, that you had set a new bar. Uh, yeah. And that is only because mm -hmm. I believe you will come back to the dome and top yourself. Um, oh my God, I think you. that that is why like, <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a, it's an arms race; it never ends. So, like, it just exactly. you, you will just continue to build. Like, uh, but mutual yes, art absolutely new bar set. <laughs> like, it is wild. Uh, uh, thank you. I mean, like, shout out to Brandon who has to do this, like, at a level of like just the frequency with which he creates whole worlds and whole scenarios. Like, could I keep up with that? God, not with a lot of like, like, not without like a bunch of training. I come in and do a little, a little season once a year, and I'm like, great. We finished Burrow's End, and I was a slug in my <laughs> living room for a month and a half. I was not useful as a human being. Like, great, I'm still recovering. Uh, if you need me, just please drop like food on my stomach. I will be playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom until further notice. <laughs> I mean, understandable. Like it yeah. was, yeah. I mean, it was it was an emotional ride. <laughs> it um, was crazy, but they absolutely crashed it. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, speaking of emotional, though, mm -hmm. Rashawn, goodness gracious, oh a uh, powerhouse so performance. Unreal. Unreal. I, how dare? Look, yeah. We we all knew how good she was on all the other like dropout programming that was there. And then she came in here and went, it's fucking universal. Watch this. And just anytime she cried, I was just sitting there like, okay, I'm about to segue to a funny thing. So like, gotta <laughs> lock it up. Yeah. Oh boy. And then true, one of my, like for it in the same way that like Jasper's, uh, no, thank you. Like absolutely like rocked my shit. Rashawn's Hey Girl Hey. Changed oh the race of Doctor Steel. <laughs> yeah, how was did the South Asian? Yeah, and then... how did the mini change so fast? Or <laughs> maxi, whatever you call it. Well, I mean, the thing was like the sort of like skin coloring and all of that was already there, but I modeled it on uh, like pretty heavily. Like her description was modeled on one of my in laws, who is just like just in the same way, like very brilliant and curious, the kind of human being, like she's just absolutely the person that was like, if a stoke came up and talked to her, she'd be like, well, that's fun. And then just immediately <laughs> keep going. Like science, unfazed. I discover or learn about three new exciting things every day. Like this is just one of them. Uh, and was very modeled on that. And then the Hey Girl Hey and the asking about the curl, like moisturizer absolutely skyrocketed me. And I was like, well, this is my sort of self-insert character now. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out with Rashawn for a second. So good. She's so good. She's so good. It's oh. unfair how good she is. Unfair. Like, Almost gave her clothes. That's how good she was. Yeah. But no. <laughs> she got close. She wore a hat for a hot second. She wore a hat for a hot second and then was shamed out of the hat. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I do. One of the things that I love about you is bringing those kinds of new players into the dome, uh, yeah. Rashawn. I mean, I, I was very much aware of Jasper, but like getting yeah. to see him play in the dome, uh, Danielle, like you mentioned, um, yeah. I mean, uh, what is it? Omar, Serena. Um, oh, I'm forgetting someone. An Oscar, from, yeah. An Oscar, thank you. Yes, from uh, a Court of Fame Flowers. Like getting to see so much new, and it's not like they don't do them other times i feel like you bring in very diverse cool people all the time yeah. how like are you just constantly like on like scouting like <laughs> who's who's in the minors that i can bring up to the like the majors i like, am absolutely there just in like a little polo with like d20 <laughs> and a little visor just taking notes just watching it's it's very uh friday night lights i love it <laughs> Um, no, I think there's just, there's a bunch of people that have been on, been on my radar and a bunch of people like Oscar was introduced to me. Like that was a, I think that was very specifically Brennan being like, oh, I've got this friend that I do improv with. Like he would be great. He hasn't played D and D. And I was like, 
oh, hold on a second. And he like mentioned Oscar's name. And I was like, wait a second. I think I know him from Seth. Like I, I served my nickel at UCB, but I never like got, I was never on like a house team or anything, but I am aware of a lot of people in the space. Uh, but yeah, uh, I love getting recommendations. I love like having the people I know. And I think there's something really fun, not just from like the very like obvious, like diversity at a table means you're going to get a lot of like new ideas from different plays and people's uh, different sort of perspectives on fantasy and their relationships with fiction and where and how they've seen themselves within it will influence the kind of characters they play. And that's real and true and so vital. But I also, I think this is something I picked up really hard from EXU Prime because I remember uh, my very first playtest before even I had the job uh, at EXU was with Robbie and he had never played D&D before. And I believe he was like days out from the birth of his son. So he was just like in this like dad, like mm -hmm. very saving private Ryan. Like he just kind of came in deer in the headlights. Like I was able to wander away from my newborn son for four hours. What are we doing? And you're like, okay, one, I'm going to grab you like a drink of water and two, <laughs> here's what D&D is like, let's get into it. Same thing with Amy Carrero, who is one of the loves of my life. And she just came in. I, I tell the story all the time, but like our very first, like when we sat down, I was like, let's just like introduce our characters a little bit. I gave like a really simple introduction. And when it got to her, she went, my name is Denise with the dollar sign. And I love bottle service. <laughs> and that was the point where I was like, okay, so there's no dollars here. And what is bottle service? But also that energy... I, yes, forever, whatever you want forever. So I love having tables with a mix of like perspectives and uh, like how familiar they are with D and D and RPGs in general, because there's something that's so wonderful when you have like a shooter in your corner, like Brennan, who knows this game inside and out and makes all these like beautiful high level plays that like bring everyone in and forwards the plot and like having that DM pet at the table where you're like, no one's got me. The other DM right here's got me. And that was extra fun because also having Jasper for that. But uh, having those new kids that have no idea what they can do and so with those limits off they'll just shoot for the moon and you're like i can always walk someone back from saying the craziest thing dimension 20 specifically has an edit so if you go two buck wild they'll be like hey i'm just gonna <laughs> we're not gonna keep this part that's nuts <laughs> do something else i've never had to do it i look forward to that day but yeah having people who are just passionate and creative for me will trump familiarity with any given system because you can teach anyone the rules but like a natural storyteller will shine no matter what so i love bringing new people to the table and introducing them because it's hard to keep up with a lot of different like people in a lot of different places so it feels nice when you can call up a homie to the big leagues and watch them absolutely crush it oh yeah. jasper love it yeah oh, jasper so good he's I just, the best like He's in the same tone that, oh, it's okay. When he said it would really be our Burroughs end, my brain broke. <laughs> and I was like, is that the first time someone says Burroughs end? Did he just <laughs> name the season? And I was like, wait, no. Abria says it at the beginning of every episode. <laughs> like, it's, uh, How crazy would it be if I was like, oh, hold on. Uh, we're going to yeah. ADR that into the top of all of this. This was total recall until exactly right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, oh. so good. He said it. Oh, I love it. That's perfect. And a perfect. perfect, a perfect stinger to end the entire season. Of right? Like, I was a prophet. Like, oh, just... my gosh. Absolutely landing that. It felt so cool, too, to, like, sort of split the watership down, a uh, prescient character between that couple. So you have, uh, you have the sort of prophet cult leader. Cult is such a strong word. That prophet leader figure in Thorn, who's experienced something ridiculous, uh, like ridiculous and uh, eldritch and unknowable, and survived it and is trying to tell people about it. Uh, but then you have Viola, who's the one that actually had the vision and saw the sort of end game of like having children safe within the walls of Last Bast, uh, was just so sweet. And they just, everyone landed everything just. Dang, they, they crushed yeah. it. It makes my job yeah. so much easier when I'm like, yeah, you understand your arc. Cool. You set it up and I will finish it off narratively. Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it worked out so beautifully. So yeah. beautifully. Uh, such, such a triumph. Um, uh, 
is D&D sports? In a way, it absolutely is. It's team sport. And yeah, I think I think I always thought about it as I was like falling into it and learning about it in the same with the same passion and with the same understanding of like yeah, the person that's sitting behind a GM screen is a shot caller in the same way that like a point guard has a slightly different uh, perspective on what they owe to their team within the confines of like, you know, offensive basketball play. But it never has felt like the story must come from me and then everyone will respond beautifully. Uh, it's a team sport. You you pass the rock. Like you you set up people for moments to shine. And even in moments where I, I am at my most like cheeky adversarial, like talking talking shit and being a big old villain and calling them little guys while trying to stomp them through the map. Like we are all on the same team and the same team is like what's best for the story. And sometimes that puts me on the other side of things where I'm trying to like squeeze good story moments at you through uh, the blade of my bad guy's sword. But like, we're all doing the same thing. And in that way, a hundred percent still sports. It's sports. Yeah. It's all sports. It's sports. It's all everything sports. Everything's um, sports actually. Yeah. Um, uh, this is just now the fun things. Does telling Brennan to shut the fuck up always mean a player will get inspiration at your table? hundred percent. Okay. hundred percent. Yeah. Got to establish dominance. Uh, it's got to be, you can't just do it for no reason. But if you can catch him, 100%. Because he's now, he's at your level. He's beside you. Like, Siobhan mm -hmm. has this beautiful moment of like, you're down here in the muck with me. <laughs> I'm like, yes, remind him of who he is. <laughs> um, did you have to tell that Evan Kelt motherfucker to like change some buck wild name for Tula? Or was that like a first thought? Uh <laughs> So this was really funny because I was waiting for the shoe to drop the entire time. I Tula Marinia? Yeah, I was like, cool, are you going to do it? Like, yeah, I had had that like in reserve because I'd had a couple uh, like small rodent and uh, like woodland creature specific diseases on stand. But, like myxomatosis was like in there even from bef like, before Siobhan had mentioned it. So I saw that and I was like, are you going to do this in a second? It's not going to be like a whole weir weird arc. So I am now clenched against Brennan's naming. <laughs> But he came in with actually a different name. I don't think I can remember it off the top of my head. It wasn't it wasn't Buckwild. But when he heard that we had like Ava and uh, Viola and Lila, he was like, oh, it gets really close to like flower names, but with an A ending. So I'm going to like come join that. So then he pivoted to Tula at the last second and it was really good. And the, But I still didn't trust it. Evan yeah. Kelp, Abraham Merhermbler, Merhermbler, and yeah. Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas Hobb. A monster. Because that a was monster. one that he sprung on me in the game. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. oh no, I have to update my notes. <laughs> yeah, I made a video at the trailer. And I was like, I can't believe Brennan has a normal name. And months <laughs> later, people came back to be like, how's that holding up? And I'm like, yeah, I've seen it. I know <laughs> what it is now. Like, <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> God, oh. so funny. Ridiculous. So now I'm just, I'm nervous for the next thing because it'll come back with it. Because yeah, oh, sorry, how are we, this is, this is Cram Daniel Erasure. Yes, yeah. Every uh, name. Yeah, uh, yes, every name. <laughs> every name. Yeah, just the <laughs> wildest energy. Um, the wildest. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, I, I, I know we are like over at this point. Um, oh yeah, I hate, look, between you and me, I can hang out for like 20 more minutes before I rock Okay. Out. I get on tangents Great. a lot, so you're yeah. good. <laughs> uh, Tula's Tula's song. How <gasps> are you kidding me? Te tears, tears. Hi. Yeah, I ran in screaming. <laughs> My husband was still in a work meeting, and I was like, "Pause the meeting. You have to hear this." <laughs> He's like, "Will it hold?" And I was like, "Not the point. Watch it now. <laughs> I'm crying now, so you have to watch it now. Do the meeting later." The talent, like man. Talent is just, uh, it feels so cool to have made anything that anyone resonated with enough for them to lend their art to it. It's, I'll never, I'll never get over how cool that is. Not ever. It's my favorite thing. I love all the fan art. I love songs. Like, uh, it's the best. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. When I saw the first cut, I was like, holy shit. Like, this is 
incredible. And then the, now the like proper release, whatever you call yeah. it, uh, is like uh, stunning. Um, and she's like yeah, a dice a maker. Girl. Like what? It, what? It, right? How could you be this talented? Did like, you see? Uh, th- she also made a really, really pretty thorn dice. Yeah. God, yeah. I love them. Ugh, if it weren't yes. for the fact that I truly have too many dice and I only have three <laughs> sets that roll consistently well for me. And obviously I'm not using them in worlds beyond number. You can yeah. hear it every mm-hmm. fucking week. Uh, I would be like, I just want to buy all of them. Please, please. <laughs> I mean, I think by saying that people would just send you dice. I don't think you have to buy them. Um, <laughs> hey everyone, give me more dice, please. Yeah. With some sort of, just do some wizardry on them so that they roll good. I was so tired of rolling low. I felt so bad for Jasper. Like, uh, his low rolls, I'm like, I feel you, buddy. If no one feels you, I feel you. But dang, you are rolling like garbage. <laughs> yeah. I, one of the things that I loved is, and I, I talked to Jasper about this, is that he, like, leaned, like, the first rolls when they were bad, he really leaned into that. 100%. Um, because, of course, he did. He's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and then, like, the nat 20... Of like, I disappear in lightning and reappear. Like, like yep. so earned. And you're like, that's the cult leader. I get it. Um, there you go. Like, I think the story would have been meaningfully. And it, interesting, it would have been different if Jasper had, had, had been running around with Thorn at his full, like, persuasive best. I think Last Bass would have felt different. And I definitely would have leaned more into the corruption arc of it all of like, You are very persuasive and there are 20,000 people here that are happy to listen to you and you've never seen a first stoat. You could lead them and like go about all of that in a different way. But I do love how much he leaned into the, like, let the dice tell the story here. Like you are operating at like diminished capacity because your focus is on this like incredibly tight family unit and trying to find your place in it and around it. But having those perfect, like, nat 20 moments where you remember who you are and work with the full sense of your kit, I think it just made for such a deep and beautiful character because you know what Thorin is capable of. Mm -hmm. And then you just, so you cheer for him even harder as he fights against all of those, like, other instincts to be a good uncle and a good uh, partner and a good uh, in-law to his family. And it's just so lovely. It was beautiful and he's brilliant for how he played it yeah absolutely i mean you really get that like the 25 to like persuade the world not to kill all stoats like perfect it felt very very fun to pay that off at the end to be like yeah i know this is going to be a little like like it's a big jump in the scale of these epilogues but like you have to reward that character that's come this far and remember how good he actually is at this thing specifically and let's pay it off immediately. And I'd had the t- the, the like camera there as like a weird, there's, there's so much weird stuff in the notes that like never came up, but like if they had gone to the tent, they would have seen a bunch of like equipment to like live uh, show this, this like military taking it, like taking back its facility from its enemies. And it was like, cool if you want to learn how to use a camera you can just be a little stoat on tv if you really want to so it was nice to be able to use that yeah that's lovely um i also one of the things that i loved about the finale is the that final combat was so intense and horrifying and poor poor carlos uh, poor i carlos. i DM'd him and i was like Rip. hey i don't like you i don't like your mini um and, <laughs> We're uh, talking about, he's a little kitty yeah um but it also i mean shout out rashawn happy birthday like oh, the absolute destruction birthday. so like Amazing. like the like made it so that it felt like no one was drained of like a slog of a combat yeah which uh, uh and then like like the epilogue felt all the better because like they were full of energy still and riding that like i kicked a gun with a nat 20 <laughs> high um I'm gonna I'm gonna win a fucking long jump in Los Angeles. Like Unreal. Exactly. Like it's really funny. Uh one of my favorite things in watching the finale is if you watch the difference in energy uh before and after the uh the second reveal of the reactor that triggered the like recoup in their abilities. 
the energy in the dome was bad, y'all. I was <laughs> winning and it was not pleasant. <laughs> it was really funny. I was just like, ooh, we can all tell. I'm kind of kicking your teeth in. People are getting low. They're going to drop. Poor Brennan having to put his foot in uh, <laughs> into Jason's ass was so funny. Just it was the most beautiful, like dark wish of like, oh, you want a PvP? Do you really? Because <laughs> I know how you build a paladin. Like I've we've talked about busted builds, and I know that like once I gave you uh, the opportunity to like respect your character, you went from an under optimized paladin to one that could actually swing. So now you're gonna do it on an intrepid hero who's playing your child. Good luck. <laughs> hey, Bren, Bren loves to attack um, uh, uh, Siobhan uh, as, as a parent to child. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was so somber. It was just so quiet. Like, does a 30 yeah. hit? That's one <laughs> of my favorite moments. Hit. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Also, shout out to Brennan for just like not like... I know he tried to pull his bullshit of like any stout, uh, but like, um, but oh, like once you were like, no kill jason he was like i'm gonna do it uh like well, spiritual thing, weapon like smites like he was gonna come in and attack lucas first and i was like i'm gonna let you do it and i want you to know that you're going to auto kill this kid that's only been nice to you and i promise the narrative consequences for this will be worse than if you had attacked anyone at your table because he's not a level 10 character he's a level five bard you're going to obliterate him and then you get to like live with that at the end. So it was very cool to see Siobhan come and like intercept. Mm -hmm. And then, oh yeah, if Brendan had pulled any of his punches or forgot a bonus action, you know, I was going to sit there and be like, so what do you do with your bonus action? Yeah. You're going to cast it. What level are you casting it at? Oh, you. I know you still have level three spot, like slots. I know you have them. I know you do. <laughs> I'll cast it, buddy. Come on. So it was very cool that you like fully committed and yeah. Erica fully committing to also trying to have a cheeky little edge case of, of attacking the ground. But I was like, well, jokes on you. That's my character's end game. So I love that. <laughs> but it was just so good. They're so good. And it wasn't a very yeah. long combat. I think it was maybe two rounds, Yeah, but just enough to like, you get it. Here's what sits at the heart of this story. Here's what the like, the big bad really was up against and like you do it you kick a yeah. gun and end the combat <laughs> what a beautiful note to have ended on i love when like the mechanics lean in and you're like oh cool couldn't have planned it better myself like you can't write that in a script and then we yeah. get to get to the most unhinged epilogues ever with phoebe sitting dead center <laughs> while we're having the epilogue like phoebe. don't move her just like she sits right there like <laughs> Why did Unhinged uh, to be like, I solve global warming. <laughs> <laughs> just like what? in the just middle. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. wild. I was scream laughing and I'm like, why didn't we move it? Why didn't we move it? <laughs> we could have the neutral board. But no, it was great. You know, <laughs> oh, God. It was, yeah. I just, I, I, like, thinking back on this year, like, it was never after. Yeah. was Ravening War. It was yeah. Drag Queens. It was Mentopolis. But when I think about this year, I'm going to think about Bros End first. And <laughs> oh, like, that you. is so impressive. Because especially because like, I feel like you saw Never After and you're like, horror season? Bet. Like you <laughs> like... Just like a little bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, Meat Wolf, my God, what a mini. Like, I it's... love Meat Wolf. I yeah. truly am... I'm actually like pretty gutted that I didn't go through more of Meat Wolf's kit. <sighs> that was that was a well built little guy. Yeah, how dare Brennan be nice? Uh, how I, dare I, Brennan I, be nice? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I talked to Shane uh, Brockway about Meat Wolf, and yeah. I was like, "Are you sad Brennan was nice to Meat Wolf?" And it did. He was like, "No, I would have been nice to Meat Wolf, so it made sense to me." So Shane at least is not upset that more yeah. of the kit didn't get to get shown off. But yeah, <sighs> um, oh my gosh, that's so good. I just. Well, Thank you. I like yeah. Burrows End was so, uh, it was so fun and such a fun swing. And yeah, I, sorry, I'm not saying like wrap up things. Um, you you keep going. I just had a great time and I'm really happy that like it resonated with fans at the end of the day because it was hey. very vague from the, from the jump. That trailer tells you so little about what's going to happen. Yeah. And it doesn't always feel, it feels, it, 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 
it is very nerve wracking to come in with big, like, I think you just have to trust me and the story we're going to tell and trust this table and trust like this channel to do something that is worth watching, but we're not going to tell you much about it. Cause like, yeah, there are horror elements in it, but it's not a horror season, like trying to come for never after's throat. Like it's doing a bunch of other things and moving through genres and like, the body horror is a part of it, but like the horror isn't the core of it. The politics aren't the core of it. The family is the core of it, yeah. but uh, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a big swing. And I, I think now uh, here in December, <laughs> I'm happy to like, say like, I think, I think we knocked it out of the park. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. The thing I think because the family was the core of it is what made that epilogue so satisfying yeah. of like, we returned to that core of like the family uh, um, was just, uh, it was beautiful. It was, it was, I, I mean, a damn near perfect season. Like I, oh, I can't, like, you. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to say perfect. Cause I'm sure someone will like yell at me. of like, oh, what sure. about, yeah. uh, cause, <laughs> hey, cause I'll my God, it. For, uh, something that Matt and Brennan would never have to fucking deal with. I'll tell you that much. Um, Look, uh, we know. It. Yeah, yeah. But I'll I'll always take it in the way that this is always sports. Like you can have you can pitch a perfect game, but there's always ways to improve. Like you can always get better and be better. And I will uh, once I am over the like euphoria of like, oh, people like it. That's great. Uh, go back through and figure out how to like get to those good moments faster and like land the themes and like do more with uh, all of the pieces that you have in play. Like there are still so many ways in which I want to grow as a storyteller. Like NPCs can't be met. Like Brennan and Matt's NPC work is unreal. Like everyone feels like a different character every time. Uh, fun note they do put occasionally under me uh, in my little lower third, which NPC I am, because I will drop out of whatever affectation <laughs> at some point and be like, oh, I'm just talking in my voice. Dang it. This one's Teetles. Don't worry about it. Keep going. <laughs> so of course there's room to grow. And I, I never like take it any kind of weird way about that. And it's just nice that like, even as I grow and uh, hone my craft, it's nice to be supported by like, fans and and the people I work with uh, and the people I work for the whole time so can't ask I, I, I hope I hope you have felt the love from the fan community for 100%. this incredible season I yeah. well, I mean like it's in, I mean amazing like from <laughs> like I said production levels uh, storytelling like just beats landed or just uh, <laughs> it was stunning um, it was stunning um, uh, that means everything to, <laughs> I'm very happy. Um, Percy Jackson. Did you have any yeah. idea what the fuck was going to happen with that whole that was, nightmare? So that was just, like I think I Car like Carlos and I were like on the phone being like, "What the fuck? <laughs> How'd they get that? <laughs> They're going to be so mad. It couldn't be less Percy Jackson. <laughs> Should we put that on the list? Should I come back and run a Percy Jackson thing? I don't know." I know stuff about gods. There's Zeus. Yeah. The wet one. Someone's yeah. got a wife. She seems <laughs> mad. Yeah. So coming yeah, 2025, I'm... Percy Jackson. Here you go, fuckers. Yeah. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> I'm going to ruin your favorite thing. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, it was so wonderful. Because like I was like, I think you all are looking past the blue and the tree and you're just focusing <laughs> on the lightning bolt. And ooh, did Percy Jackson fans come for me. And they're like, Jordan, blue they is got, very important. Um, they got so mad. They got yeah. so mad. <sighs> and I like, I Googled like Percy Jackson blue and there's like a whole wiki fan <laughs> page that's like, here's all the important times that blue exists. And I was like, all right, touche. Uh, like, I see how you got there. Do you think that's yeah. like, ooh, an IP swing would be so funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're so in anyway. the middle of a strike. We're pairing up with Disney to be like, <laughs> we're going to promote your new content. Um. <laughs> yeah. Currently standing outside of Disney going like, please pay yeah. us normal. Uh, yeah. But for sure, for sure, we'll gas up your IP. I'm yeah. sure Rick oh, is man. a lovely person. I heard Rick Reardon like plays D&D. &D. Yeah. I don't know if the fans just said that because they were like trying to justify it, but. 
I don't know, man. Uh, hey, Rick Reardon, if you see this TikTok, <laughs> hit me up. I'll run Percy Jackson. I'll run it so damn good. I'll read those Amazing. books today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, it was this thing where I was like, Brie and I are pretty close in age. I don't think she's read the books. Um, Not like, at all, man. Yeah. Not even a little bit. I'm yeah. old as shit. Like, could you imagine? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> oh, man. And then Jasper uh, retweeting per- the Percy Jackson trailer with blue lightning through. Oh, my God. Like The level of troll in the club was yeah. so good. And I, I assume you know that, like, he was sitting across the table from Zach, who then responded with, like, the yes. eyes emoji. Like, they were going back and forth <laughs> at the table. Like, incredible. Like It was great. Um, When was that? That was... I think, I think the day that happened, like Jasper was in town in early October and staying at my house. So there was a lot of like us screaming about stuff before everything yeah. premiered too. So it was very, very fun. <laughs> so good. Okay. All right. I know you have to go. Yeah. This was incredible. Um, this was so wonderful. I'm, I like talking I'm... to your whole face and not just yelling at you on oh. a social media app. Thank you. Um, I'm such a huge fan of yours. I can't believe this has happened. This is hey, delightful. Same. Um, I incredible. Um, and hey, I'm gonna go tell the white people it's safe to talk to you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you want to, so, so this is where I pitch you on you, Erica, um, Brennan, Lou, and Taylor come like do a thing, and I Ooh. talk to you about worlds beyond number. Um, Noted. We'll talk. We'll talk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Once we get I, those motherfuckers back from Panama, it's on. I mean, I mean well, I mean, not that probably, probably. Well, I guess it would be the first time. So maybe Lou would show up for it. But like, you know. There's like, no guarantee. Uh, we can't even yeah. get him for. Oh, God. He's just so hard to book. He's so hard to book. I, and then we text uh, him because, like, we have a work slack. And he's like, I'm so yeah. sorry. Uh, any messages will go through Adonis Guns. And we're like, why are you being Adonis? <laughs> we know Adonis. Adonis Gun. Also, <laughs> hey. Fucking seven point scales is the way to go. Brennan was Thank wrong. Thank you. Um, like he that gives you the that actual s- midpoint. Like Thank you. that is like I was an academic. That is the correct scale. Adonis Thank Guns you. was right. Like he w- um, Adonis Guns has never been wrong, and he's leading yep. the charge in Panama. So you know, yeah. yes. he's got this. He's got it. Yes, and what a perfect way to end. Um, everyone knows where to find you on the internet. You're oh, everywhere. You see cool. everything. This was incredible. <laughs> Brie Iyengar, thank you so much. We can't wait for Total Recall to get your ass to Mars or Percy Jackson, Mars. like whatever's <laughs> happening next. We love it. Uh, someday I'm going to watch Candela Obscura and ask you questions about it because hey. I'm sure it's great, but I have a two-year-old and I'm 40 years old and I can't do anything. Oh so, my like, gosh, um, a little cutie. Ah! Yeah. Amazing. All right. This Have is incredible. a wonderful Thank you. day. <laughs> You're the best.